Hi guys, we did the setup of our Tapo C200 camera in part 1. Now, let me show you the Tapo application. Smart Actions. On this feature, you can control Tapo devices using your smartphone. It helps monitor your electronic devices and making sure everything is turned off and on. Go to Firmware Update under Me and check for any updates. Next is notifications. Uh, you can turn on and off the alerts of your devices. Okay, so camera preferences. Uh, if you want to tag your video with a live tag, and also you can see the speed tag. Now let's go to help and feedback. Select C200 camera. So, uh, this is a Q&A page, mostly your questions be answered here so try to check it out under home let's try the first feature which is uh, talk Now I am testing the Tapo C200. So as you can see, you can hear my voice. I find this very useful. Uh, let's say you are fixing dinner and your folks are at the living room with a camera. Just open the Tapo app and tell them that their dinner is ready. Now let's try the pan tilt. Let's navigate to the left and right and up and down. There is also an easy way. Just press the vertical cruise as you can see and the horizontal cruise. If you want to create shortcut and save camera view locations, just press the mark position. So for this example, I put my camera view on the balcony, just type balcony. And then the next one is in front of the door. All right, we finished marked our positions. Let's try the test. This one is for the top view. Now let's try the door. It assigns your camera view instantly, so it's quite uh, convenient for us. Let's say you want to delete some mark positions, just press and hold the image. Next one is the voice call. I find it very similar to the talk option. It's merely like a video call as well. The application has a privacy mode where streaming and recording functions are disabled. It means that it doesn't save any recording at your memory and also at the playback you will never see any uh, streaming. 
One of the features that I like about this camera is that it creates sounds when alarm is turned on, like this one. So let's say you install two or more cameras, just press this button and then you can view it from here. Next icon is for the photo, so if you want to take or capture any photo, then it will be saved to the memory and the next one is for the recording also it will be saved on the memory as well then you will have here the microphone from your playback you will see the motion detection which is color orange it will detect uh, any movement and the next one is the continuous recording which is the color blue it will capture everything at home setting click the gear icon then you decide to change the camera name just press the camera name and then type Alright, so the next one is to set the location of the camera. Now the time zone. So let's say if you live in uh, Japan, USA, so just select your country and select the time zone. If you enable the invert image, then this is perfect if you mount your camera upside down or above the ceiling so that the view will uh, change from here you can disable and enable the LED for the camera then the next one is detection and alerts you can configure if you want your camera to create sound and light or create sound only or light only and you have here the activity zone you can set up the wide coverage of the camera meaning inside the red box it can only detect within this at the bottom is how your camera reacts you can set up to low normal or high Now let's go to micro SD card. From here you can do a reformat. This feature is very handy if you want to uh, schedule your motion detection and continuous recording. So like what I did, I clear everything and then select motion so color orange for the motion and color blue for the continuous recording select the day of the week and the time which you can specifically configure like what i did i do continuous recording on tuesday and friday click save done now let's proceed to advanced settings camera account on this feature we can do encryption set username and password for the Tapo C200 camera
let's go to distortion correction if you enable the distortion of the image can be effectively improved but the field of the view will become smaller then on screen display info it's default by top already the time and date and privacy mode so light frequency I just turn auto on and then for the diagnostics so turn on this feature if you encounter any issues of the camera all right so share device and then click share remember you created an account when you sign up now get their tp link id and then send invitation i will set up using my other phone Since we are not the admin, we cannot select any feature and also we cannot uh, do some configuration but you can select the view into HQ which is high quality. But you can still view your playback here like this one. Since this is another device, we need to manually save our recordings so there's no recording in the memory. So let us try to save. Now go back to memory and then save to your phone. Then suddenly you receive notification, open it up, and then you will view the live streaming. Please be reminded that it is not a auto-saving, so we need to manually capture and record. Under playback, manually take picture and video recording so it was saved to the memory. Then press memory and then play it back if you want. Then you can also download to save to your phone. So like other security camera and CCTV, it also have a night vision, which is very useful nowadays. I have a scenario that the stranger just unplugged our device and our camera went offline video streaming is not also available but if you manage to record before the camera went offline just go to me camera memory and then you will find our saved recording and then you can download i think tapa application have a self storage